Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I was taking inventory and realized I've never done Rapunzel. So out of all my Disney princesses, I'm still missing quite a few. Um, so I'm going to start trying to do finish, wrap them up this week. Um, so anyway, I'm starting with Rapunzel. I'm going to make her 30 inches. I There are a few images of her out there, but I love this one because... Um, as you know, I'm kind of particular about seams, right? So seams in the face, I definitely, um, I always do the face max is 11 and a half inches because I don't want any seams in the nice light colored cardstock because it's gonna be really, really distracting. But when you're looking at an image and if you think her face is, let's just round it down to 10 inches, right? So here's 10 inches, here's another 10 inches, and then here's some excess and some excess in the hair. You can easily do 30 inches without any seams in this one. And the arm right here, I think we could probably do 11 and a half inches and it should be fine. So everything on here will be seamless. Our only issue is her hair, but as you can see, her hair has like, little cascading locks <laughs> so what I would want to do with her hair just looking at it straight off the bat is you know for instance this right here is one piece and then here's another piece here's another piece for those I mean they're still sizable they're not tiny however I don't want this in three pieces I want this to be one piece so we're gonna weld some of these um, strands and locks of hair together but this one is super long right so i'm going to take this this is from i love glitter font um and you can get it free from defont.com and i love it because i don't love the font so much because it's too thin to cut um so I, I see people using it a lot, but I, I don't love it. But what I do love is I love these flourishes right here, or the, I think they're called ligatures. Um, this is, it's the bracket. So it's the ones to the right of the letter P. And I love it, the shape because it has that a little bit of a curve and it very much mimics the hair. So for instance, oh, um, sorry, I'll grab this over here. You can kind of see it matches the way her hair goes right now. And so we can easily, you know, like, you know, cut this hair right here. That to me looks really natural. So that's going to be less than 11 and a half inches. And then this piece, we might need another cut, but, you know, maybe we'll do something like this so you know it looks really really natural in fact it looks very much like this piece right but smaller so that's what we're going to do for this so Rapunzel is at 30 inches is going to be seamless but you're not going to see anything because the black outline is where we're going to have the seams in the back right but look at all the color that's going to sit on top of the black background layer so she's going to look really, really amazing. And 30 inches is very sizable. Um, it's sizable next to me, but definitely next to a kid. So, all right, so let's get started. Um, right away, what you want to do is I always bring in a square and a circle because usually the circles we use to weld, the square is what we use to slice up the image so that it becomes pieces that we can cut on our machine. So I just bring that in early on. Um, so I kind of just want to scroll down over here and just kind of check out what we have. What I'm noticing is a lot of little pieces, right? And what I'm seeing is it's, for instance, right here, it's the ribbon. So the pink ribbon, it's little pieces. What I would like to do is actually connect all these pieces and make them thicker. So I don't want to lose the detail. I don't want to lose the crisscrossing stitches um, but I don't want it to be, you know, 10 million pieces, 10 million tiny pieces, right? We still want to make this project fun and not want to shoot ourselves. So, um, all right. So that's one thing that we need to watch out for. So we'll definitely connect those and let's see what else we have over here. Um, Everything so far, no warning signs, right? We should have a warning sign for the black background and for her hair, but I don't see anything in her hair that's interesting. Um, oh, because we haven't made her big yet. Okay, so let's take her, make her 30 inches. So I just go to the height and then I tab. 
because the width is going to change accordingly with the height. So you only have to change one dimension, and I usually always change the height, okay? Let's go down to here and make this 25% so that we're not constantly scrolling up and down. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna see some warning signs because it's gonna tell you that the Cricut cannot cut it because it's too, too big. Um, oh, and it doesn't tell us until we ungroup. All right, just gives us a general warning sign. So let's go ahead and ungroup this and see what we have. So we definitely have the, the black background, which we knew was gonna be big because it's 30 inches long. Um, and that's it, okay. All right, so let's look up at our color panel up here. The second thing I wanna check. So click on the color and you can see how many colors we have going on. This is a lot of colors, I don't like it. Um, there is multiple shades of purple. I think it should be one purple, one pink, her hair, obviously, skin color, black. Um, there should usually be about five different colors. Anything more is too much, unless it's just, you know, like if you did rainbow bright, I don't know if you can see her in the back. I mean, yeah, I mean, we need all the colors for rainbow bright, but um, let's look at this. So let's go to color sync and see what we have. So the white, the whiter, her eyes and the her little cuffs, it is what it is. Here's her black background, her skin color, her hair. Now, I don't know why this hair is a different shade of yellow. It doesn't need to be, so I'm going to just grab it and move it up. And if you were looking over here, you didn't even notice it. When you don't notice the change in color, you don't need that color. <laughs> That's my rule of thumb. All right. So let's scroll down and see what else we have. All right. Um, okay, so we have three, two shades of purple here, which I think we should only have one. So let's, this one has more. So let's just start grabbing this and putting it up here. All right, and we have still a couple shades of purple here. So what I'm seeing is, let's see. We have her shirt and her skirt have different purples as well as her the top. So I'm gonna say we don't need all of that. Um, I'm gonna move the skirt. So see the skirt, here let me move this. I changed that color of the skirt, right? I think it's fine. I don't think anyone's going to notice that her skirt should have been a paler shade of purple. All right, here's her pink. So it looks like the pink is different from the sleeve and maybe the ribbon. It's going to be one pink. So let's move this up and make it one shade of pink. Now, if you want her lips to be a different color, I totally get it. Um, I think this pink is probably too light, so I would keep that. Um, let's see. So, I don't know where that purple is. The question becomes, do we need this light purple? I'm going to just say that's fine to have. So, we have one shade of pink. A different shade of purple up here but uh, you know what I'm just gonna move it let me move the first one and see yeah that purple is fine I'm I'm gonna move it I'm not even making this one I'm only gonna show you the design space tutorial so if you didn't want to change it then don't change it there then you will cut two different shades of purple. That's totally your call. But for me, I feel like that's that's what we should do. Okay, so now we've narrowed it down to um, a shade of pink for her lips, a dark, dark pink, the pink in her dress, the purple in her dress, her eyes, which is like two little things. We need that green. It's gonna be very, very pretty and it's gonna pop out from her face, especially in contrast with her skin color because it's gonna be regular cardstock. And then her hair, her face, and her black background, and her white, 
we're good. Okay, so now that we've ungrouped everything, let's go to our layers and let's start moving things over. We know that we need, we're gonna need to um, slice this hair because this is gonna be too long as well as I think this piece is gonna be too long. And we can ungroup it here and we can actually see. So this piece is 7.6 by 20. Yeah, it's too long, right? As well as this piece, this is 18. But I think everything else will be okay. So let's get our little guys out here and make it, and I made it bigger to make the, the black outline here about the same size. So it's gonna look really natural. Um, okay. So let's see, I guess I want it like this. Okay, so let's put it in. Let's go and arrange, send to the front so that we can see it. Okay, and I like it like, I like that first cut right there. So let's grab, we have this and we want this piece and we're gonna slice. We can only slice two things at one time. So we're slicing that that hair and the piece. So, oh, uh, what did I just slice? That, I have no idea what I just sliced. Or did I not even slice it? Okay, I must not have done it. So let's uh, undo, get it back over there. Okay, let's grab our piece and our hair, right? Um, I don't think that's the piece of hair I want. I want this. Maybe that's what it was. I want this hair, this hair. What is going on here? Okay, that's not the hair I want. Okay, that's the hair I want. And then I want this piece. Okay, and slice. Okay, so we're gonna move this out, right? So, but this yellow piece, do you see how it cut here and here? So we're gonna click on it and we're gonna go to contour. And, no, actually I think we're good. So hold on. Let's move that out. Oh, there. Okay, so undo that. This piece that's left, we want to just remove this big strand. This little guy we want back in there because it's up here. So we're going to grab this and this little piece and we're going to weld it. So it's right back to where it was before, right? So now look at this beautiful piece and it looks I don't think it looks like it's out of place, right? So this is in two pieces. We're gonna have to weld one more down here. So let's take this guy, let's contour and get rid of the this top piece. We want just this long piece. And let's just um, go to arrange, send to the front. And let's make this... Um, might have to make him longer maybe something like this so it's in three pieces okay sorry right. so we have that and then let's grab the hair and slice okay now this yellow piece we're going to go to contour and we're just going to get rid of the middle piece um oh that did not work hold on I don't know what happened. Okay, let's grab that middle piece again. Oh, and it's not letting me contour. Interesting. Is there another piece in there? Mm, what happened? Where's my piece? Okay, you get the idea. I don't know, I, I'm unable to grab it with my mouse right now, but I think this looks pretty good. So let's grab these three. 
or the four items and just delete it. We don't need it, okay? But this piece, um, we want to separate it into three, right? One, two, three. So we're going to need three versions of this. So here's our second and our third. And then you're going to go to contour and we're going to separate them one piece at a time. So here's our first piece. Go to the second one, contour. Get rid of the first and the third so that we have our second piece, right? And then let's go to our last piece, contour, and deselect the first two pieces so we're left with just the third piece. So now all these pieces are able to be cut on our Cricut. Now we have this guy. Um, this guy is a little bit too long, so I kind of want to slice the hair up in half. Let's turn it this way and then make it longer. Um, and let's bring that to the front so we can see it better. So. Okay, so I'm thinking I would love to do something like this, but I feel like this piece will still be too long because that looks really natural to me, right? Um, but we could do something like, like that, okay? So let's take that and this yellow and slice. Perfect, okay. All right, so here's our piece. Um, it's in two, right? So let's duplicate it and then separate it. So by contouring, then you get rid of the second piece. So here's the bottom. And it's 4.6 by 13.7. But you can move this like this. And see, now it's 6.3 by 12.7. If we move it a little bit more, 10.3 by 9.9. .9. Now we cut that on the Cricut. All right, so let's see this one, this contour. And let's get rid of that. All right. And again, this piece, the way it is, is 3.7 wide by 12.6. But you can shift this. And now it's 6.7 by 11.3. It's still the same piece. But we're sort of like tricking the system into thinking this is now a different shape. And we can cut it on the Cricut. So we're, I think we're good with her hair right now. So those are the big pieces. All right. Let's look at her hair. So these four pieces, I feel like we should, let's click on this, unlock it, and just stretch it out and make it part of this, okay? This one, oops, this little guy right here. Can I even get this little one? Let's forget that little one. Let's look at this one, unlock it, and make it a little bit bigger, but still fit in this outline, right? And maybe something like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab this one, hit the shift key, grab this and this guy, and let's weld it and see what we have. And now we have one big piece of hair instead of three. Now I'm tempted, let's move this one and let's try to grab this guy. He was right here. Let's make him a little bit bigger and get him to attach to this piece like that. And let's weld it. So now this little hair right here is gonna look like that. It looks pretty good and it's one piece instead of four. I definitely like that. Okay, so these three pieces, let's grab them. Okay, so it's four by 10 basically. So it can be cut by the Cricut. Let's, um, Let's weld it together though, so it becomes one piece, right? So let's get this circle, let's duplicate it. All right, so we have this, let's change the shape. So unlock it and kind of make it slender. And oops, let's bring this over here and let's kind of weld it at the top. 
like this. Okay, so stick with me. So grab that, grab the three pieces, and weld. And so now we have this guy. Oops, I went a little bit too far, but I'm oh, sorry. Let's unweld it for a second so I can show you what I did. We, we, I went past the line, so we just want to move it up so it's not. I should have done something like that. All right. And let's grab all three and weld. I did. I couldn't grab the middle piece. I don't know. It's hard to get these pieces. Okay, let's move this out. Let's move this over. I think it's like right around there. Let's grab these three and weld it. So now it's one piece instead of three. Those are the things that I definitely like to do. This one's by itself, that's fine. Um, this one big piece, it says it's 8.7 by 12.2, but we still have some room to, oops, hold on, to move this over a little bit and see now it's 10.2 by 11.2. We can cut that on the Cricut and it's nice and big. All right, so these two pieces, I would definitely weld together. Um, these pieces I would weld together and then these pieces okay so that's going to be one two three three pieces so let's duplicate our circle one more time so we have an extra circle over here okay so let's grab that make it small and then bring it over here and let's weld these pieces right here um i may have grabbed the wrong piece i did undo and I hate how like I can't it's really hard to grab these pieces all right I think I got it this time there so this is now one piece I'm gonna grab this make it smaller and technically this piece right here is one so I'm gonna weld these three pieces together and by default it will all be together so let's make this smaller and we can even do something like this all right so let's grab this piece this piece I don't think I can grab that little piece but let's weld it oh it did see so now this is all together um all right we've got just one more piece so let's weld so we should probably weld right here and also up here to get all the pieces. So let's duplicate that. And let's make this small. And that should get us all the pieces. Oh, oops, undo. And maybe right around here. All right, so let's grab all our pieces. Well, I don't know if I grabbed it all, but let's weld. I did not. And with this piece. And it moved a little bit, huh? Almost. <laughs> all right, let's I'm have to move this out. Okay, here we go. And let's move her over here. I think it was like right there. Okay, grab all of this. Oops, don't grab all of that. <laughs> My mouse, all right. Let's grab these. Okay, there we go, and weld. All right, so there's her hair. Her hair is now completely taken care of. Whew. All right, let's get this purple out of the way. Now, I would like to weld these two together but it's okay to keep them separate i'll just keep it separate for now it's up to you later if you want to do that okay let's see what, okay so let's undo that all right so what do we have here this is the purple 
Oh my gosh, hold on. Let's move some of these other things out of the way. So this is the face. Okay, so her face is one, two, three, four, five, five pieces. And because it's skin color, um, it's the light cardstock that I use from Michaels. It's called the Blush Pad. It's normally $20 and it'll go on sale between $4 to $5. And of course, that's when I buy it. And don't buy it at full price. Um, but anyway, um, it is very light. It's perfect for it. Um, but I don't mess with the skin. So if this is one, two, three, four, five pieces, let's duplicate it and have five copies of this. Four, five, and... Let's, oh, oh my gosh, you know what? This designer just grouped everything and didn't weld it, so it's perfect. You just need to ungroup it. So let's bring this over here and then hit ungroup. Don't mind me doing it the, the long way. Here are her eyes, ungroup. Um, all right, so the white, now the white, I'm gonna move it down here so that we can, oh my gosh. Undo. And I'm going to make this bigger because it's really hard for me to see right now. Um, but let's look at this white. So this is her cuff. And this right here, I would weld this together. So let's ungroup it knowing that we're going to weld this together, okay? This part right here is really thin. What I would like to do is duplicate this and then... Let's unlock it and just stretch it out a little bit and then put it right here, kind of on top of it. And we're really not changing too much. No one's going to notice it. I'm going to grab these two and I'm going to weld it. And then click on this. There's, an, there's a little gap. All we need to do is go to contour and get rid of that little gap. So click on, select it to remove it. And then see, now it's a thicker piece. Like I feel more confident that this piece will not get lost or ripped, whatever. It, my blade will cut it, it'll, I can find it on the mat. So I like it like that. All right, so this guy though, let's, we're gonna need to work on this. So let's um, get, oops, let's go get the, let's duplicate these two things and then bring it down. To where we're working I know sorry that this is what happens when you work on big pieces you gotta find it okay here we go almost there all right so here's our cuff what I would like to do is on this one oops undo I just want to get this circle if I can find it, here it is. Is it this circle? Yeah, and just make it bigger. And I'm just gonna attach it to that. So now I'm gonna weld that. So instead of two pieces, it's now one. This one, same thing. I would make it bigger and just connect these two pieces. So instead of three, it's now one long piece. This guy, I would probably make it a little bit bigger. And maybe just attach it like that. It's the cuff, you're not even gonna notice it. Okay, so there's the cuff. Um, I would probably wanna make this a little bit bigger. Maybe this one, unlock it and stretch it out to touch this piece. <laughs> I know I'm being really um, aggressive here. So let's weld it. And then this piece, I would just want to make it a little bit thicker. So let's make this small, maybe even smaller, and then bring it over here and weld it. So this was what, like in eight pieces before, it's now three pieces that you can work with, um, in my humble opinion. All right, so the white's all good. 
Let's go back up here. We only have a few more things left to do. All right, I'm going to make it small again, okay? Okay, so let's see what we have. We have her lips, which are, you know, fine. We're going to move it out um, and just ungroup it if you want to. And, oh, I moved the purple. Shoot. Okay, here's the arm. Let's see if I can figure out where the purple went. Oh, there, the purple went. Right around there. Maybe here. And then this arm probably moved in a little bit more. Okay. Um, so the purple, I feel like it's going to have to be what it is. So let's... Sorry, I keep moving the wrong one. Let's move this purple out of the way. I would get rid of this piece. So when we go to ungroup it, this piece is too small to make it. I'm just going to remove it, delete it. No one's going to know this. Um, if this little dot makes it, you can tape it down. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay. So this purple is all good. Let's move it out of the way. Um, as well as this purple, those little dots, I would, I honestly would get rid of them. Okay. Um, now with this, let's make it bigger so I can see what I'm dealing with. <laughs> My old eyes. Okay. I would just turn these into actual X's. Okay. And I would do that by, let's see, let's ungroup everything. And I kind of like this piece right here. Let's duplicate that. And then let's duplicate it a few times. Okay, so let's take this guy and move him up here. And these are not perfect X's by any means, but it's totally fine because I feel like it's um, it works with this image. It's not, you know, it's not meant to be a perfect X. Um, let's weld it. Oh my God, I can't weld all these pieces. We'll get back to that one. Let's move this one down here and let's weld. I cannot weld these pieces. What is going on? This loop right here, I might just do that and weld it with this. Um, right here, I let's see. Let's move this black background out of the way. That's easier. Okay. Um, this guy, I would unlock it and stretch it out. and weld that loop. Okay. Um, weld that. Weld this. Right, so instead of, I don't know how many pieces that was before, like 15, it's now more manageable pieces. I would probably add a line through here and weld these two pieces as well, okay? All right, but we're done with this. I think we're good here. These you should keep separate because it looks prettier that way. Okay, let's move this all out of the way and let's deal with the black background. Okay, uh, let's make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to move her over here. Okay. This is the last part of our deal for off the mat. We're going to make, she is 21.5 inches across and 30 inches down. I'm assuming that everyone is using 12 by 12 cardstock, which means the Cricut can cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, right? Yes. Um, I don't like dealing with half inches, so I make my squares 11 by 11. And in this case, it really doesn't matter because 11 plus 11 is 22. So we're going to have two columns, right? 
11 and a half plus 11 and a half is 23. It doesn't matter in this case. So you're not losing anything by doing 11 by 11. Same thing with 30 inches, which is another reason why I like 30 inches, because technically with 11, 11, and 11 is 33 inches. You could go up to 33 inches and just have 11 by 11. But usually at 30, that means I have six sheets of black cardstock that I'm going to be slicing this up to into because it's two columns and three rows. I hope that makes sense. Okay. Um, all right. So let's grab our square, make it 11 by 11. And let's just place it here. And we're actually going to use the position feature. We want to make sure that these six squares are completely flush, no gaps and no overlays. We want them just butting up, completely flush, so that when we have our six pieces, they go up against each other, you tape it, and you then have it the perfect background once again after you cut it okay so that's that's our goal so we're using the position feature to make sure that they are exactly where we want them to be and not just eyeballing it so your x coordinate is your x axis it's the one that runs across your y um your y coordinate is the one up and down okay so when i do this i just round to the nearest whole number that's already there so this is 5.49 so technically i would do five and seven and a half you do eight and then duplicate it and just put it close enough then you round down to the near or you round to the nearest whole number so over here is 16.0 something 16 7.9 make that eight we can do the math behind this so we're telling this to go over five go down eight and here's the tip of our square so this is at five 5 plus 11 is 16, and here it is. Our x-coordinate starts at 16, okay? So let's grab both of these squares because we know they're flushed, duplicate them, and then put it close enough by the first set. And then again, we're gonna go up here and just round to the nearest full number. 4.8 becomes five, 19.1 becomes 19, and then duplicate that set again. And here's our last, um set that we're putting down so put it close enough 5.0 something becomes 5 30 point something becomes 30 we have six squares completely flushed right here go over to your panel grab your black background and arrange send to the front and on this one there's i mean it's just going to cut where it is but some images you, it's going to make a difference where you place it. And what I mean by that is, for instance, if you had something like this, you don't want this. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see. You don't want this to slice off and deal with this like little, little piece that you need to tape together later, as well as this. And this is very common for things like if you had a profile and all of a sudden the tip of the nose, like this little piece is cut off. You don't want that. You want to move this image down so that this does not get cut off with anything else and it's part of the larger piece okay so let me zoom back out basically we want six solid pieces of this background and in this case with her you know with her background it's pretty easy everything is going to be six big pieces so we're going to start slicing remember you can only slice two items at one time it's going to be one square and her background so let's grab this first square and the background and slice. Grab the next piece and slice. Now, if you happen to grab more than two items, which I'm gonna show you right now, I'm gonna grab two squares. I'm barely grabbing the squares, right, and the image, but that's three and that's why slicing is grayed out. So you just wanna make sure that you're grabbing two items at one time. Okay, we're almost done. Okay, then the last thing I like to do is I do like moving these pieces over and keeping them kind of in order, just so that you don't have to think about where these pieces go later. When you take them off the mat, sometimes I have a tendency of um, flipping it around or like back, like over and not realizing and then trying to drive myself crazy later figuring out where these pieces go. This one's pretty easy, but that way here's your six pieces you know. 
your slice results, you can just grab everything and delete it. And I think we are done. So let's get rid of everything that we don't need. Um, and save it. And the reason why this is called Rapunzel 2 is I recorded this last night and it didn't record. All right, let's go to Make It so I can show you what the Make It screen looks like. Okay, so here's our white. You can move these if you didn't know. See, you can move this, move it up, move this up here. You can make this fit whatever scrap paper that you have, okay? Um, all right, our black, we know they were six sizable pieces. I don't think there's any consolidating that we can do. Um, so it's going to be six sheets of black. Now the skin color, this can be moved to the other mat. So select it, go to the three dots, click on it, move object, and let's move it to the other skin color. So instead of two sheets, we're going to have one sheet, and I'm pretty sure we can make it work. So let's move everything else out of the way. Okay, so that works. And we just got to make this fit in this little piece right here. All right. So instead of two sheets of cardstock, we have one for the face or the skin color. Whoa. All right. When I see something like this, there's a major glitch. I would just cancel and go back, but because I don't want to cancel everything that we've done, I just want to move it, but now you know how to move things on the mat. I think Design Space is telling us this video needs to be over. <laughs> All right, the pink, these two pieces, I would move to this mat. It looks like it could fit, as well as the purple. So I'm going to say it's one sheet of purple, one sheet of pink, one small sheet for the lipstick, I mean for the lips. I would probably do some scrap paper that you have in your bin. Um, one for the green. Again, that's also scrap. And I think we're done. All right. It's going to be beautiful and seamless. Please tag me. I want to see your results. And then also, if you want to see something that is specific to your project, then just comment either on my Instagram, YouTube, or Facebook, or you can email me at Anne at the Useless Crafter. It's Ann, A N, and the Useless Crafter, all one word, dot com. And I will love to do a tutorial for you. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.